Reporting live. I got the <laughs> Hall of Famer, the Perfect 10, 280, Big Sap. And three. Three six. Reporting live from live. the office. You creating the life. <laughs> creating the life. We talking about creating the life. This man right here, he started that creative life thing. I don't think nobody <laughs> in the world has more fun than Sap. No, 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 no. I, I have a good time, no doubt about it, because I always have one rule. If it ain't fun, it ain't me. I mean, we had enough work. We had enough schedules, had enough school, had enough all that. I done did all that. Now it's time for me to do what I want to do, because coming off a dirt road, and now it bears my dirt name. Road, what, 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 what does it mean to come <laughs> off a dirt road? <laughs> a dirt road. Hey, a broccoli full of dirt, too, right? <laughs> but they call it the buck. But you know, mine yeah. ain't that buck. Mine ain't that dog dirt. That's that, that's, it's that brown dirt that sticks in your shoe and it just, just make it nasty for it's you. from the struggle, around. the hustle, straight oh, out boy. the mud. Listen, man, when your mama working check to check, job to job, and you might not see her all week long, you know what this is. <laughs> you got to get it all. Opportunity. Opportunity. Hey, let's get it all. You know what I tell people what luck is? Is when the prepared and an opportunity meet. When you prepare. So you're lucky. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll take I, that. Cause I, cause I, sometimes you got to be lucky than good. I'll take that. Because I'm prepared. That. And when I have the opportunity, I'm going to take advantage of that opportunity. Opportunity. My man went to the University of Miami. As a tight end, <laughs> big tight end. Hey, no, no, big no. tight end. I was two hundred and twenty-five pounds when I left high school. Oh boy, two twenty-five. All of a sudden, from June the tenth to August the sixth, thirty some pounds jumped on me some kind of way. I showed up at two sixty-seven. Okay, so what made them say, okay, you know what? I know you came here as a tight end, but you got that. No, you got I, that thing listen, in you. All right. We going against the number one defense every day in in practice. University of Miami. Yeah, number that, one defense. Number on? with the three linebackers in there: Mike Brown, Jesse Armstead, and Dan, Dan Smith. They had Russell Madaris, Crying, Patrick, Caesar, Hamlet. The whole the whole nine yards. You know what I'm saying? Dale Williams in the back end. Charles Fong, Casey Grill, <laughs> Ryan yeah. McNeil over here. Herbert James over there. Dog. Them was some boy. You talking about some hard ass days at Green Tree? Boy, I'm talking about getting clothes lined in the whole night, y'all. You know Green Tree. Oh, when you a freshman, they don't give a damn. Are you red shirted? Come on. The most disgusting thing was watching that bus drive off going to Arkansas. <laughs> that was the first day. I watched that bus drive off. I said, "What the hell do we do here for the weekend?" <laughs> <laughs> I had never been left in my life when somebody leaving. Somebody going to play without me. Are you kidding me? So Bob Carmelowitz. And Ed Ogeron came to me like six, seven weeks deep. Been getting abused by the number one defense, but I'm working. And you was playing tight end. Oh, yeah, I'm working these safeties and linebackers, though. I I, I invented the whip route because that was the only way I could get away from <laughs> it. I, I'm telling you, I ran the first one in 1991. I want somebody to tell me when they ran first one before. Route. That. They invented the first whip route. Man, I stepped Big inside and came out that back door and stuck that thing up. Ryan Collin put it on me. I was on the run, boy. <laughs> but them boys run full five, full four, so I ain't going too far. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so okay, okay. That's what that was. So they came to me and said, Bob Carmelo was looking me dead in the face and said, I coach Jerome Russell. And Cortez. And you could be better than all three of them. I looked at him and said, you full of shit. Dog, you, you ain't got to you ain't gotta sell me no dream, man. He said, son, name me one 300 pound tight end. I said, Eric Green. You know Eric Green, Big E, right here in the <laughs> Bob Carmelo was looking at me, God bless his soul. He said, yeah, Eric Green is digging his grave with a fork. <laughs> you call Big Sap, done converted over. I just said, let me go run with him and see what this is like. You know, let me see. I had never put my hand in the ground except to go out for a pass as a tight end. So now I'm I'm the, I'm the quarterback's best friend, the tight end. Now I'm finna become his nightmare. <laughs> so mm. it, it, was a, it was a nice transition, but when I went down and nobody could stop me from getting to the pass rush dummy, they brainwashed me. So you already knew. No, they brainwashed me. They they didn't. They didn't put me in the double team and the slip and the and the scoop and all this shit. I'm, I'm just rushing the pass. Oh, he just gave you the one on one, a little one on one, ease you into it, that, convince you. But none of the ones or twos would go against me. Right, so I was getting the scrubs. You know, the dudes that were never gonna play at U M. Oh, okay. And I'm judging myself against that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, it was a real. So from then you just went on. And said, it was okay, a real I dark can, room. It so you said, real, I can, I can do this. I think I can do this. Let me give it a shot. You did, know? You, did you ever think, okay, coming out of 
Apopka High no. School, did you think that I'm gonna go to the University no. of Miami, play tight end, no. yes. and make it to the NFL as a tight end? Boy, I was going to get that horse bowl lit up like Lamar and taking my helmet off in the whole nine yards. You know, it was real wild then. Catch a three yard out, you come off to do whatever you want to do. It was it was crazy then. It was, it was wild wild west of college. Football when I first got there, boy, and then they came out in like '93 with this video. Oh my God! It was all us. <laughs> <laughs> New rules of college football. It was all us, dog. You can't do this. You can't do that. So it was all geared toward the University of Miami. I'm just gonna say I ain't gonna say it was geared towards us, but 90 percent of that video, I'll say 75 percent of that video was us. University of Miami. Oh, Jesse the Armstead, Lamar Thomas, uh, Randall Hill coming Taking out. Taking the helmet off. Oh, coming out the coming out the tunnel. Lamar caught a three yard out against uh, Cal in like eighty nine ninety, and come out just just throwing the dick. I'm like, Lord <laughs> have mercy. Uh, I said, dog, that's a three yard out. He said, I don't care. <laughs> Celebrate anything. Dog, oh, hey. anything they small, did. Hey, that's, oh, it hey, that's one thing about playing that you. You celebrate small success. Everything. Everything. Dog. Everything a big thing. Six seconds, you could be out of this thing and never play again. You never know. Man, that, it, it was like that because it was a dog eat dog and a bunch of alphas going at it. I can imagine what you went through with the, them running backs. You had them nuts around you. But you already know with us, it's like when you get an opportunity, you got to do something. I with know, it. but but it made you it made you a better player. It made you hungry. Yeah, it made you say, okay, look, I can't take things. For no, me, so. I cannot. But nowadays, oh. let's fast forward. Come on. If a kid gets put on the Stop bench, Stop it. if a kid gets put Stop on the bench now, then what look, is he gonna, what is he gonna for, do? He's looking for a new school to go to. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't love me, I will find somebody who will. So how does that change the scope of like recruiting? As far as the loyalty to your school, like why even, go, <laughs> why, why even, why even go out there, a young kid now, knowing that he could leave you? You got to recruit him year every round, every year, every year, all day long. Here's the thing: two two stories I heard this past off season that really like drove the the point home that the rabbits got the gun. Now they said a kid walked in Nick Saban office, sat down and looked at him and said, "I need nine hundred thousand dollars." And you got 48 hours and the clock start ticking when I walk out this door. <laughs> are you are you kidding me? E, can you no, imagine I, walking I, in the head coach office and telling him you gonna give me almost a million dollars and you got 48 hours? Nah, that ain't happening. That's crazy, right? That's not happening. But, so, but do you blame the kid? No. Listen, the other one I heard was at the University of Miami when we went and got packed. For the basketball, the dude from Kansas State. Right. Kansas State ain't even no damn basketball school the last time I checked. <laughs> I don't remember Kansas State. Well, he got State a was, check. Ho, $900,000. And then they hey, say hey. your boy Wong called up and said, wait a minute. And say, say, say they said, here go your 900 Shut up and play. Took us all the way to a Final Four. But are the kids wrong for no, going to get no, the money? No, 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 no. There's no wrong in this because... I don't know what you got, but I got $32 a weekend. We're about the same. We weren't too far away. 40? Something like that. But yeah, they had raised it up much. Was, so it 95 to 99, it wasn't much. They but, raised it. But that 40 went a long way. What? Yeah, because <laughs> gas wasn't $3 a gallon. I mean, it, 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 we had some options then. That 40 went a lot. I think because we valued it a little bit more. I think oh, no, valued I valued it. that $32 because that was going to feed me on Sunday because that was the one day I had to eat. So, as a parent, <clears throat> your kid got these opportunities. I'm getting a job behind him. <laughs> 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 Why should my kid be the only one getting paid off this? So the kid, but this don't, this this my only issue with the okay. whole NIL situation. Okay, come on, come on. The only issue is, do you keep that same hunger to go to the next level? Of course because, not. Because you know e, it, you e, know to get there. E, I tell people this all the time. Because they be like, your son play football? No. He know his next meal ain't depending on him sacking a quarterback or running nobody down. I made sure he had a real good education and some other stuff backing him up to where you didn't have to go do this. That's I what agree. this is about is providing a better lifestyle for your children that they don't have to do what we did. Now, if you choose this, I ain't got no but, problem with you choosing. But choose every parent is not... A Warren Sapp or Edwin James or somebody that came from no. playing football that no. had it. So I, I watch I 
I watch little 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 Dennis and insurance men all the time out there with their kid going crazy. You know, horses don't make sheep. Your kid got a better chance of being a brain surgeon than doing what we did for a living. I agree with that. Oh no, it is. That's but the, the opportunity is right there in front. No, of no. I'm going to give him every opportunity to develop my child until he's 13, 14 years old as a critically thinking individual, young man or young lady, and then let them pick their path. But most of them going to follow the path of their parents. I don't think so. I don't know. Because, dog, it's damn hard to do what we did. But I'm saying the sports. No, no, no. Like sports is, I understand sports. Sports is what we do. I understand sports. I, I, sports I got is that. our life. I got that. I got that. Sports got us out of where we was because that was our way out. But that's what everybody's connected to. But they got to. so many other options. I agree they have so many options. That's what but, I want to do. I want to give I want to give my child a whole spectrum to look from. But we didn't they're, have naturally, that. they're naturally going to be put in the sports realm. No. Unless that's by you. Or you allow somebody to dictate. But that's the, what you do. <sighs> if we play sports. No, open the spectrum. And when you open the spectrum. No, it's easy to say that, but I'm saying <laughs> no, we no. play sports. I, we play I, sports. No, I, we play football. We are, but we're football families. That's what we do. Yes. Everybody load up. And so the kids gravitate to that. Understandable. But not all the time. Can you imagine Michael Jordan, son? Can you imagine? Yeah. You know. Brun, I mean, uh, Kobe didn't have no. He had little girls. You know, can you imagine that? God bless his soul. You know what I'm saying? Can you imagine being Allen Iverson, the third or the second or junior? Oh, it's pressure. Ain't no pressure. It's it, pressure. It's, it's, it's unobtainable. But what about the advantages you get? Oh, no, no. That's why I said open the spectrum. But I'm saying, I'm saying the advantages, right? Say your son, your son, he grows up getting all the advantages from the training, from the knowledge, <laughs> he automatically going to have an advantage uh, over those other kids. I, that's, I, I will give you that. No but doubt about the, it. The, only, the only thing... Do I, they want it? That's the difference. You can't want it for them. That, that's, that's what I always that's, said. That's if the that's difference. not what your child wants, then you... Did you but see what Dwight Howard did? Driving that boy like that? That boy is a mama's boy, and there's nothing <laughs> wrong with being a mama's boy. I'm a mama's boy. I'm my mama's baby. I'm 50 years old, and she tell me all the time, that's my baby. Ain't nothing you can do about that. But I don't want no dude around me that don't love his mama. I agree with that. The, well, I don't want no dude but around you, me that but don't love his mama. Have, but you usually going to have that because the mother is the one that's usually there, especially in our community. No the doubt. Fathers, hey, the fathers hey, are Most niggas' daddies ain't shit. Not, I will agree <laughs> I ain't gonna say they ain't. It might be the, the the difference between the parenting and there's a lot of stuff that had to do with things behind the scenes. Most brothers' daddies ain't shit. A man will make time for whatever he deems important enough for him to make time for. Now that I will agree. Thank with. you. But at the same time, <laughs> she could be a little ignorant. I got that. I, I got that. that. Trust you. me, I got that. It and could the, be and some the things other that dude stop and you. all that. I got that. But don't allow that. To step in between you and your child. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> I ain't gonna say every dude or most dudes. No, 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 no. All most. I'm gonna say is, like, look. My generation. All I say is, look, let's. let's My generation, let's give, the ones that let's raised us. Let's give every dude the benefit of the doubt. No, the ones that look raised at the us. Situation. The let's ones that at, raised us. Let's look at the situation. The ones that raised us. Let's look at the situation. No, no, no. I ain't talking about now, because that was a whole lot more mm -hmm. ways for you to get to your child. We ain't yeah. had no internet. We had no video chat yeah. and the different things. You see what I'm saying? Nobody had a phone. Phone was thirty-five dollars and thirty-five cent a minute. Thirty-five cent a minute, and that was off peak. After six p.m. Before <laughs> six p.m. it's like seventy-five, almost a dollar. He got the math. Like oh, I'm done. telling you, dog. Boy, you got that star tag and you flip that thing over. You went. Ah, it ain't after six o'clock. You close. <laughs> But I'm always stand up for the dudes and be like, hey, man, I, look, I got to see what it is. Because when you're around certain people, man, you be like, man, like, if they had the opportunity, if it wasn't so much other things that take place, they might they might just step in. You're you one of them guys that believe that story. <laughs> you know, it's two sides of the story and then there's truth. <laughs> hey, I'm going to hold it. Hey, hey y'all brothers out there, man, I'm still pulling for y'all, man. I'm I, I, no, no, brothers, this, this new generation, I have a whole new appreciation for because brothers are going well beyond anything that my generation's dads did. 
That's what I'm talking about. When I was mm-hmm. eight, so nine, going, ten, no, me so and my homeboy. Back in the, okay, you going back in the day. I'm going like, with what I experienced. So, okay, and what yeah, me you and have my to speak homeboy. off that. But that's what I, I said. Just look, I just the look ones at the that raised us. When I'm, I'm seeing a lot of dudes putting forth more effort. No, no, no. I, like putting I said, a lot of energy into you. You're one of the ones that if you want to talk about a dad, I put you right up front. I appreciate it. I put that. you right next to Tony Dungeon, my man. If you want to be a dad and, learn, hey. and understand what this That's is we, and how to do it. We both stop. learned a lot from ah, ah. Tony Dungeon. You that, already listen, shout, out, shout out to Tony Dungeon. One you know? time for TV, baby. Hey, what's, tell him, Tony Dungeon time is what time? Hey, six minutes fast on your clock, but <laughs> <laughs> Ass got to be in the seat five minutes before the beating start. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you have a true appreciation for somebody that comes to work like he does every day. Every it, day. Every day. Consistent. Yeah. Ain't no yelling, ain't no screaming. First thing you gonna ask you when you make a mistake in the game is what were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> That's the scary part, boy. You be on that muddy field and he stopped that thing and turned to you and said, "What were you thinking?" No, nah, I think the cold. I think the coldest part about Tony Dungy is that Tony Dungy he's not gonna go back and forth with you. <laughs> he ain't arguing with you. <laughs> like I've sat, None of that. I, I, I sat next to Dungy and a guy came up to him and said, "Hey, coach." My um, my such and such ain't right. I ain't gonna bury the practice today. And Coach Dungey's like a cold player. He okay. Just, he looked at the next man and said, "Hey, here go your opportunity." <laughs> <laughs> so we ain't, like that. we ain't got to We ain't got to talk about this. Hey, next man up. And that, but it teach you about the world. That, right. Now. Those little moments right there teach you a lot about life. Like, hey. All right, keep up. Stay keep, over here. Keep, keep playing keep, with keep that playing. bull. Keep playing with that bull. Keep playing. Yeah, because we'll have us a new one right there's around here all, again. There's always you know what another used to say? guy. You know what he used to say at the beginning of the training camp? I want you to look to the left and look to your right. I am not picking the 53 best guys on, in this room. I'm picking the 53 best men that give us a chance to win. 100 Consistent. Boy, always. All, <laughs> always the, dog, dog. Like a rock, dog. Man, I love that man to death, boy. You tell about somebody that. Because we had no structure in Tampa. Before he got there, we had nothing. Raggedy facility, no quarterback, a defense that would just, oh, we played anything, any given day. He came in and said, we're going to build a structure, and this is how we're going to go about it. And, and it paid every off. Every day, we laid bricks and we pulled concrete. Boy, oh my God. We turned a damn doormat into a destination because nobody wanted to play in Tampa. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> I didn't even want to play at Tampa. And now Tampa is one of the hot spots to play at. I don't know what Baker Mayfield. That might just turn into the <laughs> desert again, boy. Cause that Baker Mayfield is something else, boy. I, I, whew. And uh, did you did you hear them fools over there in Tampa talking about they were going to be better? Better than what? Nothing's going to change around here. We're going to we're going to take it to another level. That's interesting. That's boy. That's what I said because. The one thing I know about the body in football, you can make your mouth say anything, but your ass got to cash that check. <laughs> you got to get and put that oh, word Oh, you got down. to cash that check, buddy. You, you can write it with your mouth all day long, but you're going to have to cash that check. So we we, we finna find out. We finna find out. I mean, absolutely finna find out. And what the hell took Damon Lillard so long to ask for a trade out of damn Portland? <laughs> God hey. damn, boy. I, I, you know what? When you got that kind of power in the NBA – Will it? Just imagine we had that kind of power in the NBA, I mean the NFL, to say why I wanted to go and how I wanted to get there. I don't know. I was in a good situation. So no, no, I was, I was in a good situation, yeah, that's too. that's right. Like, I can't, I can't no, even no, no, relate no, no. to it. You know, you don't, you don't really think about other situations until you leave your situation. Hello. It's just like when you leave home. Hello. <laughs> you think yeah, you the grass never, is you never, greener. You never know how sweet it was when you was at. It was, you t- hey. I'd rather get on the other side yeah. of that street, boy. And we both... We yes. both transits. We both made moves to other spaces. Yeah, but yours wasn't that bad. At least you went to a Super Bowl behind. I won oh, 15 no, no, no. games but in I four went, years. But you have to remember, I went to a place that nobody would go yeah, to. Yeah, notoriously bad. Yeah. Oh, and, no. But that's what made me feel so good about, hey, I knew what I was doing. I know we had Anquan Bowden. I know we had Larry Fitzgerald. I know we had Kurt Warner. So when you look at football players and you look at the foundation of what's there. You got something. You said, man, we got a We got chance. something to work with. So yeah. I got a chance. So when I look back, I said, man, I told y'all I knew what I was doing because we take a team that never <laughs> been anywhere and I go got, to the Super Bowl. I got one for you. I had two-time MVP Rich Gannon. I had the GOAT and Jerry Rice because Jim Brown's gone now. God bless his soul. So now Jerry's the GOAT. Uh, Porter, Jolly, Rock, Charles Woodson. 
Rod Woodson. I but you had everybody at the old at the, at, the, at the see that tail end of the I guess, career. I guess them people he named one old on his team. You know, Kurt Warner had Larry that went Fitzgerald through two gloves. Not, hey, Larry Larry, Fitzgerald Larry, wasn't Larry, old. Hey, the quarterback had that went through New York with two gloves on and fumbled <laughs> away the whole season. Larry so they Fitzgerald went to Eli. Larry Fitzgerald one old, Quan one old. Okay, Kurt was Kurt was up there, but you know the quarterback position you can play at an older age. So I understand. The, oh, but at the end of the day, the results. Oh, sure yeah, work. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, put all, in work that's what it's about. That's My boy, at the end of the day, we did no work. I mean, no, oh, boy, that was the worst four years of my life. <laughs> but then I think that's what people don't understand. Like, once you come from winning or you come from a certain <laughs> no, no. atmosphere. I was born to win. I won 23. I went to back-to-back national championship games at the U. I, I was spoiled. I didn't know nothing about so you. Let, so you let, you let the situation out there take you over, or it was just too much? For you to do something about. Oh, it's way too much for me to do something about. Yeah, I, I like when I was in Arizona, you know, I got to a point to where I would just get up, go to work, go to sleep at work, Dog, and just wait to go bad. home. It was bad. It but, was bad. But one thing we did have, we had <laughs> we had a new coach come in, put in ah, okay. put in that put in that solid foundation because he came from the Pittsburgh still in tight he won those. No, nah, that was Ken Wisenhut. He came through, put oh, put together. Wizard. He put together that the structure, cause that's the only thing you like. When you, you got talent with no structure, oh, it's bad. You're not gonna win. It's bad. But if you get structure and you have, then talent, everybody figure out where they where they yeah, fit in. And then get you can in play and ball. Then you pull. Everybody then, roll in the same direction. Then yeah. you can play some ball. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, I agree with that. So, yeah, and that's what a lot of people don't understand. A lot of time when people see a lot of big names get together, they think it's gonna jail, Shh. but. That's not the case. Definitely not. You got to have those role players. You got to have people understanding that. Hey, I know we're all I'm here superstars. strictly for the big four. Punt, hey. punt, return, kick off, kick off, return. This is what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, they they almost eliminated those guys when they had the twelve year rule where you had to be a certain amount of years to get paid a certain amount of dollars. We had Jerry Ellison, Kenny Gant, LaCharles, uh What's that boy's name? Special team guru. Oh man, he told Brian Mitchell, "I'm gonna knock you out." Kicked it off and knocked him out. So you already know we both went to the U, <laughs> and everywhere we go around the country, everybody saying, "Hey, what's up with the U?" And and let's be honest, college football needs the U to be popping. Cause I, I mean, all three Florida schools. Yeah, we need, but all three, it's, all nah, three it's nothing like there's nothing like the U. When the U popping, no, no, no. Everybody, everybody, break out their old starter jackets, the whole nine yards. But, like, but the first question I get asked is, when is the U gonna be back? And I don't have an answer for that. E. Well, there's an answer, but the, and we don't have it. No, nah, the pros and it's pros and cons of being oh, in the University of Miami. Oh, hell. Here we go with the pros, pros and cons. pros and cons of being at the university. Pros and cons. At, when you what, go, what, what con? You getting money now. Oh, Lord. See? You getting money and you in the city of Miami. Oh, shit. Coral you, Gables. You, you, Cor you got the Gables. whole city. Cor no, you no, 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 are no, making no, no, no. six let's, figures. Let's stop, stop, if you make stop, it, stop, no, stop. No, let's go back. Ain't no stop. Let's go back. We got to because now we've turned Coral Gables into... Fucking Miami Gardens or Opelika or what? That ain't none of that. But it don't e, matter. These e, kids, when you first these went, kids. No, no, no. Let me, let me, let me break it down. When you first went there, like I first went there, I ain't had no car. Back to what I just said. No, no, no. You ain't had no car either, right? But what I just said—that's what on, I was on, just on, saying. On. So let's, it's let's a different let's just go ball slowly. game now. That, that can't be a different ball game because if you're not ready to do fifteen thousand hours at one thing, then don't tell me about. Where you going? Or, or, well, these or, kids or, are getting money now. Ah, shit. If you getting money in a small town, it's a difference between getting money in You ain't a small Miami. town no more. That's why I say they getting money in the, in, the, in the big city where the big lights at. So, I, I got this for you. Do you know how much it costs to attend the University of Miami on campus and off campus? Probably about 200 88 thousand dollars to live on campus 89 to live off so that's 
almost a three hundred some thousand dollar scholarship. Four hundred thousand. <laughs> she you damn near a hundred. It's gonna go. It's gonna be four years because you gonna fuck one of them off. Just just being. But all, but all I'm saying, like these kids, they living in Miami. They already living their dreams before. No, that can't be your there. dream. But I'm just saying, no, just the reality of like that's the they getting the money now. You know what? But Who? no, the reality. But, but the truth is. The problem with what's happening in my, in my opinion, uh-huh. we letting South Florida and Florida kids go out of state. <laughs> That's the problem. If everybody stayed home, we'd run the table. <laughs> the most decorated cane is from where? Who's the most decorated cane? You're looking at it. Who's from the Orlando? most decorated cane? You're looking That's at Florida. it. That's Florida. That's Orlando. It's still Florida. No. It's when still I, Florida. E, e, when I grew Orlando up, is neutral grounds. You get you can go to exactly. Florida, get Florida exactly. State, or you go down to exactly. the U. So the whole thing about this, there was no Dennis Erickson or Jimmy Johnson show beamed into Orlando. It but, was the Galen but, Hall, Bobby <clears throat> Bowden show every Sunday you watched. But that's what I'm saying. So now if we, that's why I said Florida. If we keep all the Florida players in Florida, oh yeah, that, that it'd be, be nothing a to talk it about. Wouldn't even be a contest, but. That's the whole essence because Nick Saban is standing there in Tuscaloosa with a bunch of, you know, blonde, blue head, you know, Alabama girls ready for you. And then Texas got what they got going on. That's how the boy, the DN left that I spoke with at UM last year and went to Texas a and and still ain't played. That's a, that's a personal decision. See, I, 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 can't, I can't understand the dream. And I'm faulting the parents because – like I told my homeboy, I said, dog, your, your kid getting eight to ten thousand dollars a month. You better tell them to send you twenty five hundred dollars. You take five and then put two thousand dollars away from them. But it's their money. I, I understand. But I have I, I gotta be the parent. Once they become no, eighteen. Once they become eighteen, what can you do? Boy, you what got, can you, you got do? Your, you got children over eighteen that you still support and do whatever you do for, right? I say when they become eighteen. And you didn't answer my question. They you got any kid over 18 that you support? Of course you do. My little girl's 25 years old, and, and, I, and, and I pay the rent. I'm just saying, these kids getting money. No, we're not talking about that. They getting that. money, so they're oh, making decisions man. based Here's upon the what they Here's, think. No, that's the problem. Because I tell them all the time. What can you do? Edrin and Warren is where you get answers. Google is where you ask fucking questions. And the first thing you get from Google is Wikipedia. You can't even use that. But it doesn't matter. If they control the cards, if the kid get to do whatever he want to do, how are you going to stop it? So stop it. I'm not, I'm not talking about stopping it. I'm talking about grooming up someone that understands that this is a rare well, opportunity. First of all, well, first, first of all, first of all, <laughs> do anything that's new, there's a trial period. And right now we're experiencing a trial period. How right long has now, this been going on? Man, NIL just got in. No, no, no. NIL just, just got, got in. Florida. NIL you know, been going on for at least three, four years. NIL been going on since the 80s. Since Bryce Young. Because Bryce since Young Since Nevin was, Shapiro. No, no. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> NIL been going on for a long time, but you had to be able to pick and choose who, but I'm just saying, who now, you were going to hook There's a trial in... But all I'm saying is there's a trial and error period right this, now. This, so this, right now, this an error in right trial. Now, right now, we're we're learning. We're learning the kids. We're learning the system. Nobody we're has the right what happens answer. When the rabbit got the gun, exactly. That's what the fuck but, so the answers are to be determined. No, no, I got this for you. So when the University of Miami win ten games, when will they? Yeah, I think we're on the right track now because of the fact that how many we games, have a, how many games we won last year. Let me, let me talk. No, no, no. How many games we won last year? I don't know. But listen. <laughs> I do he didn't listen. know it was four. All That's I'm saying is you can't you can't go and say, okay, how many we this, how many that. Let's go through and let the man at work work the parks, let the people, the boosters, give ourselves a chance. Because if you go to the University of Miami two, three years ago and you go to Alabama, you're blown away. Alabama facilities on a whole nother level. Ohio State facilities on a whole nother level. So we have Dude, to, we have to did, even I, the playing field. E, e, I never even knew that's some shit you even considered. Man, but you got the knees. No, 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 no. Why would a kid why would a kid go to Oregon? Way to Oregon in the cold. This because, night. because the uniforms and all of exactly. that. Exactly. So it's bull. all the things that, that matter. Nothing to do with the facility. But 
The things that matter to us don't matter to them. God damn, the world done flipped upside down and <laughs> I didn't even know it was happening. I mean, we flipped on our heads right now because when I go to the University of Miami practices, I'm seeing a deficiency in work. I ain't seeing a, a I'm about to take off and, and get my mom off the post tree. So why don't Warren Sapp get a job at the University of Miami? Oh, no, Warren Sapp don't need a job. <laughs> Warren, Sapp, Warren Sapp done did his last nine to five. You forget that. And I'll tell you this. The people at the University of Miami might be intimidated by what Warren Sapp going to say. Because I, I, I have no sugar but coat. We, but, but I got no sugar we're gonna get If we're going to get this thing right, we need to put everything no, on the table. No, if we're going to do this thing right, we need someone who understands what we're into, how you go about it, and how you get out of it. And I don't think we're there. I, I know we, we ain't I there. I think we're heading oh, in the no, right direction. Oh, no, I know we ain't there. I, I think, know we ain't there. Have you ever I sat said, down and talked X's and O's with Mario? I said I, said, I think no, we're No, I'm asking you a question. No, this is the thing. Beyond the X's and O's, <laughs> beyond the X's and O's, because right now everybody knows everything, everybody, all the information is there. It's the little things that you have to do. <laughs> and right now we're on the parks. That's Boy, a start. So we, my 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 we biggest thing, we on the my, bricks. My biggest thing was we weren't on the parks. I've talked to kids. I've been mentoring kids that were top kids that wasn't getting recruited by the University of Miami. Not even close. They wouldn't even look. At now, that now they're getting recruited by the University of Miami. So and now we have a chance. Gonna change. Hey. If we're on the parks right we now. We have an identity crisis on, at the University of Miami. You realize that? But we're on you the parks. You realize that? No, no, let if, me help you out. Let if, me help you out. If we're Eat. on the parks and we're doing it, if, if you're talking about Damn it. we are on the parks, we are you're in the nice. youth football. You're too nice. It ain't about too nice. Too it's nice. about the facts of it. You, I, I love the facts. And the the facts, facts are we are we are doing things that we haven't done in the past 10, 20 years. If we keep South Florida players in South Florida, we don't even have. We won't really have the discussion. Which player is better, the Dade or the Broward player? It doesn't matter. So no, 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 no. It absolutely does matter. I don't even e, listen. E, first e, of all, e. first of all, I don't think it's a Dade versus Proud. Oh, I don't think it's a Dade. It's versus, always been Dade versus I think, Broward. I don't know I don't, where you come I from. I ain't come from Dade or Broward. Me neither. That's what I'm trying to tell and you. And they fight. That. And the most decorated player in the University of Miami is from Orange County. Exactly. Four you're talking about, you're talking about this. So it's not a day versus No, no, no. Power. I'm it's, ask it's the type of player. So you think the University of Miami is going to come to Orlando, Polk County before they go to Dayton Broward? No. no. This, so now, which player saying, would you consider more seasoned coach conditioned for Dayton Broward? It doesn't matter. It's like when you look at the University of Miami roster of all the greats, it ain't just Day or Broward. Look at no, all. Look no, at the no, roster. No, no, no. I, Where's listen, Ray Lewis from? Listen, I, I where's say, Reggie Wayne Ray, from? Ray, hold on, Ray Lewis ain't winning no national. No, no, I'm, no, I'm, no just, national I'm just saying we talking about like great that. players. I'm I mean, saying that like you have to, you have to, no, you have no, to work no, no, the whole state. Even all, uh, uh, cause it's, cause you have to all work, American. You have Come to on, work what are we talking about? Dan Dan Morgan would be a better example of a linebacker than Ray at the University of Miami. Man, Ray Lewis, University of Miami, and you see what he did. No, no, no. What I'm saying what is, he did in what I'm Baltimore saying is, it's more, made him a household name. But what I'm saying is, there's a whole state, and if we comb the state, and we go get the <sighs> players. Stop. You can't get them all. Because Nick Saban, uh, Mel Tucker, and them, the LSU with them, with them red bones down in Louisiana, they're they, they going to get them. Trust uh, me, it, it, it's, it's there. If, e, if the university, e, of, I, I just need one question hey, for hey, you because you don't spend enough. No, you spend enough time in Florida and South Florida. This one, Data Broward. Which player would you take, Data Broward? It doesn't matter. It depends oh, on the player. It definitely. But what I'm saying is, you just first of all, it's like this, I see a contradiction here. No, no, no. We say the most decorated player in the history of the University of Miami comes from Orange County, right? So you still, you sitting up here talking about two but counties. But they live I'm talking in about, Dayton Broward. I'm That's talking they... about the fact that the University of Miami now can walk into any household in the state of Florida. And do if what? They're, and if say they're what? willing to walk and in say the what? house. You got to walk in the house and first. And say what? The school wasn't walking in the houses. And say what? The school wasn't walking. Fam everybody's family is. Miami Hurt. If you're in the South, you'll hold every Dude, day Miami Hurt. Jim Bird, Vinny Testaverde, Russell Maller, like 
10 or 12 household names that are Canes. Their sons were playing at the University of Miami. Didn't even look. Now, we, we just talked about the sons earlier, right? It's a different breed. It's a different. All I'm saying is we're talking the about University of Miami has to get on ESPN the park. ESPN 300 recruits. They have that, to. The that. University of Miami has to get on the parks. <laughs> they have to understand, the like, park. look, these really? kids are out here. Okay. I don't care if you're playing in Dave, Broward, if you're playing in the 239, you're playing in Tampa, whatever it is, the best player, can that's you, what we need to get. You, can you name me the offense and defensive coordinator at the University of Miami? I can't name you nothing. See what I'm talking about? I'm not going to name problem. nothing because the, the, it's been it's, changing it's the, too much. We don't have household know, situations. We change coaches and coordinators like we change underwear. But And you can't go to a park and tell a kid that you about to be coached by this dude from Manhattan or wherever go, the hell you, our you, damn you, D coordinator came from. You got to go to the park first. Oh, God, Jesus. There you go. If you I don't get you. to the park, then how can we even we, have a we, conversation? We, we, we got an identity crisis. What I'm saying is we are headed in the right direction. You don't see us at the parks now. We're headed at the I, I, we're headed, I, I'm, I'm we're headed the in the right direction. I'm off the park. I, I wasn't at the I'm park. In the I, didn't, I didn't play Optimus. I played Optimus. I did. I played I'm, two years of high school. But this, that's what I'm saying. That's what the University of Miami lacked. You see, University of Miami didn't recruit all players. I used to have top guys. I say, hey, what's up? You going to the U? They say, I haven't heard from them. That was the problem. The University ooh, of Miami would sit there and pick and ooh. choose this spot. Now, the University of Miami is, hey, we're going to offer a 2024. We're going to offer a 2025. They're doing all the things the other guys are doing. And you already know the family. The family, the family member is 40 years old, 30-something years old, bleed orange and green. I, Who do you think they're going to push them toward? And they get a chance to go to the games and be around the kids? Well, you talk about four or five wins a year? That's damn hard Man. to sell. You you only gonna get four or five wins a year when you recruit the wrong way. This right. game is a recruiting. I understand. So that's what I'm saying. The University of Miami putting a conscious effort, and we putting that bag behind them. Y'all hear this? It sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm not believing any of this shit because I've seen the practices. <laughs> ain't no work being done at the University of Miami. There's no one on ones being done. There's no damn bag work. <laughs> and there's no drills. It's, it's all about a foo foo. I'm about to uh, get some people to donate some money around here. And nah, that's we, how gonna, we, gonna we, we moving it. Hey, this is a guy remember, that has his own room at the University of Miami. In the hey, hey, Center. Hey, rem hey, remember this name. <laughs> remember this name. I'm listening. Malik Bryant. That's one of my kids. Running back from the O. No. What do you play? Linebacker from the what O. About, what about Pac Nick's from kid? Jones, that's supposed to be that's supposed to be like the number one grade. linebacker. He's in eleventh grade. So we can't get Pac Nick's kid to go to Miami. We got to see. But we right got to see. We can't commit Pat Nix and Why Pat can't we? Son. You, you and me talk to Pat Nix. We can't get his son down to the University I mean, of Miami. I would love to get him down there. But at the same time, the University of Miami got to do his part. Nah. But right now. But he told me I they just, was at the park, right? Nah, I just I named. I just named. Park, I, just, I just named Malik, a difference Malik maker. Who? Malik Bryant. Remember Malik Bryant. Where you from? Orlando. Jones Malik. High School. Oh. Remember that. Oh, shit. I, I, I fucks with Jones. I had Phil O'Reilly with this me. This is what man. I'm trying to tell you. So, look. The thing is, now we're getting... We, have we, we ever had a Jones player at the we, University of Miami? We're doing what it takes Have we now. ever had a Jones high I don't know. Graduate. I know we had Kennard Lane from No, Evans. that's Evans. That's Evans. Leon Cersei was from Evans. But I see Copeland, I you, the 99-yard touchdown we got, in Arkansas. We, hey, week one was from Evans. When you get kids like this that has a DNA... You know the Metro Conference is me. That's, that's hey, what that is. I told you what we got. Remember that name. What did I tell you? What's his name? Malik Bryant. That's all I want you Damn, to Damn, I actually remembered it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I, I'm telling dude, when the last time you had a conversation with Mario Cristobal? I talked to him on the field, but I, it, 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 it's beyond Mario Cristobal. I don't think about the head coach or whatever. I always go straight to the, to the kid and the formula. The formula is... The formula is the coordinator, right? The, no, the formula is... You have to get the kids there. You have Jason Taylor. You have a nice staff. You have people that's... <laughs> what? E. You have e, you got to go watch. Listen, this is e, you got to... I'm saying. When the last time you've been to practice? Let's... I, went I to, know you don't wake I, up early, and they go, yeah, they go about 8.45 in the morning. But this one, this, all I'm saying is, first of all, you have to do the outer things. 
to yeah, get go the, to the got, ball, go to get the, parents, the kids, sit on the couch, let's get, the, get the, let's get the kids. Right, now and, one, now once you get the kids, now you have to implement. That's what because it's never, all, it's never the X's and O's. It's the Willies and Joes that you got, got let out on the football field. But what I'm, but my X's whole, and O's don't move. My whole but Willies thing and Joes is, do. Like I want to see the University of Miami, which I see now more than ever, uh-huh. be on the parks, do the things to get the kids to come there. And when you got those type of kids and you put them in the same type of room, you're going to automatically win more games than you won the previous year. Shit. And now it comes down Start, to the coach. Starting coaching. at four ain't a lot. Shit. Seven don't get you nowhere. <laughs> Eight don't do shit. Nine ain't a winner. Ten ain't shit either. I, I'm looking for a 12 and 0 season. I'm I'm looking for it too. You know what? You if, start, I, if I was you to tell you, no, no, but you have I, to get the kids. Right, I got this for you. If I was to tell you that the University of Miami would leave the Big East and go over to the ACC, which is a basketball conference, right? Duke, North Carolina, Virginia, you know, uh, Wake Forest, basketball schools, right? Mm-hmm. That we would win two basketball ACC championships before we even saw an ACC championship game. What would you say? I wouldn't believe it. I'd bet but, my life. I'd be dead but, today. But at the same time. <laughs> I'd be dead tomorrow. But at, but at the same time. Duke. I dig, I dig a little you know deeper. I, you know our record with Duke? I, I dig a little deeper. You know deeper. what our record is I with Duke? I would dig a little deeper and see, hey, why Allah, are we Allah, there? Allah, why Allah, are we right dude, there? Dude, I had Allah Abdul Nabi send me a direct message talking about Duke football. I wanted to rip my own <laughs> fucking throat out. But you have to Allah look at the why. Abdul What's Nabi. You know who why? Allah Abdul Nabi is? No. <laughs> he was a setter for Duke. Like, that, that would be like, Bayless, uh, what's that boy's name? Jeff uh, Sadley. No, no, not no. Don't do Jeff like that. Don't do Jeff like that. Don't do Jeff like that. Jeff wanted to hand the ball off and run the ball. E. I don't. <laughs> I don't know why. But, say but, hide it, but, but this, but this is what I'm saying. I'm saying is, we we okay, we kind of like the Indianapolis Colts. We ain't got no leadership. We got. We just got. <laughs> And now the coach headed in the right direction. I'm telling oh, yeah. you. And that, with the quarterback hey, that hit the, the roof. With the quarterback, coast with, the guy, with the quarterback, balls, with the quarterback, with the quarter, with the quarterback hey. that works out and throws and hits the roof hey. and laughs and giggles got, about it. We got the best quarterback in the draft, according to, hey, according to the system that we're implementing. Ooh. Who, who's implementing the system? Who's offering Hey, fourth it? down and one, you already know what we're going to do. Everybody crowd up and do that Philly special. You're going to see that boy from Florida Gators go and get that one. Did he say Philly special in Indianapolis? And hey, we're going to go through and do it. It don't matter where you're at. It's a copycat league. You know, everybody Always. do what everybody Always. do. Always. If so it I, works on them, yeah, we, we, we got to work it. Hey, yeah. until, <laughs> un, until they make new rules, <laughs> let's do it. So, hey, so... Hey, I just so, want to know who's the guy that 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 convinced Ursay that Richardson was the guy. Hey, I don't know who it was, but it was a smart guy. No, no, no. Because I got this. I got this for Richardson, you. Richardson, hold on, hold on. Hey, Richardson was the best quarterback in the draft. Okay. Did you see Jonathan him? Jonathan Taylor. Did you, did you see him hey, play? Hey, hey, stop. Tell this out. Tell you, that, tell, no, no, tell no, no. It's my last thing on Richardson. <laughs> did you see him play against Florida State? Hey, one year starter, still no. developing, got all the potential, Is that a no? got everything. I don't watch Is Florida. Get, I don't I watch Florida get a game. No, no, no. I, hey, I got no, no, no. But, Florida State, Florida. That's a good game, right? I said I don't watch. No, no, no. no I got it. But at the you same didn't watch time, Miami, one, you didn't watch Miami. I'm watching Florida the State. player. I'm watching the player. I'm watching the player. All right. This no, player. No, I'm watching this the player, player. This player fits what we're gonna do. Hold on, hold on. I'm the QB killer. I eat, sleep, drink, shit, eat quarterbacks. This sob hey. had third. Team straight incompletions in a college football game. Man, this kid is gonna win record of the year. You heard it right here. Create Y'all the life. heard that, Richardson. right? You Richardson. heard it. Richardson, I Richardson need you to create. Gonna wear rookie no, no. of the year. Richardson, I need you to create the life that EJ cannot imagine <laughs> for you. <laughs> That's what the hell is going on around right here. Hey, Ursay, man. I know you got a good ambassador here. He's hey, a great you guy. You already know, hey, man, everything with me, I'm going to bleed that blue, boy. Ooh. But you know, you but this thing about it. I'm but a blue dog. That's but my it's, high school colors. I understand. That's why 
I ain't worried about it. When I believe, you, I hey, believe the blood thing I like on Friday night. Hey, one thing not I, Sunday. One thing I not like. Sunday. One thing I like about you. You gonna call me and say, "Boy, EJ, you was right." That's I, the one thing I do like. I don't. I don't have a problem with it. I've been wrong. That's one thing but I like. This one right here. No chance. This kid gonna win record of the year. No chance. Are y'all, top, are y'all, are top y'all running, running backs in the league? Running, are y'all running the Lamar top, Jackson? Top offense? running backs in the league. Are y'all running the Lamar Jackson offense? Quarterback. No, no, I'm asking you a go, question. Hey, the quarterback gonna get four downs to get ten yards. Not because the we're gonna go down, we're gonna go for it. Nah. Fair nah. Go, they, they, how do you they, think how do you party. think Philly how do you think Philly was able to extend things? What? You're not watching football. Hey, look, man, look. You, you, you ain't, you, so you're you been telling on me too much. the Indianapolis Colts are going to run that offense that Jalen Hurst ran? Indianapolis Colts going to run it better. Ooh, who the two receivers? Pittman. I know you're one. Right What's the other right one? I said two. I said who's the other one? I got to get the name right. That's why they went and got A.J. Brown to be on the opposite side of Smith. Hey. Don't you worry. All right. About who's what, the offensive who, coordinator in uh, Indianapolis? I know who the head coach is. Who the head coach? He came from Philly with J, with Jalen Hurst and fourth and one. He can't tell he his name. Set up. The, I love I, it. I'm not. A, I'm not a name person. I, I'm, I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna paint a picture. I'm what is he? Picture what is he? What is he? What, is he, what, what, what offense did he matter. run before it this? Does, it doesn't matter. What he's gonna do is <laughs> he's gonna get fourth and one. That's all I look for. Boy, Four downs to get ten yards. I I just like I like I, okay. Jonathan I would Taylor's love to a good back. Offense. Jonathan Taylor's a good back, and Mike Pittman Jr. is a good receiver. But y'all hey, gonna need a lot more pieces than that. I would love to have four downs to get ten yards. Oh. And you had Peyton Manning and you, two Hall of Famers, the greatest offense that ever existed. I only maybe played on maybe top. I maybe only, not I, the greatest only, show on turf. I don't know, but I don't. I don't. I don't y'all don't, even put it on fourth down, I right? Only. But yes, yes. Y'all okay, putting on fourth play, down. Hey, you man, putting on fourth down with, hey, with, the, with the cosmonaut in there doing but, all of this, this and Omaha and the foot <laughs> and the whole nine yards and, but tell me and this. the chicken wing and all now that. Now imagine, imagine. And now you finna go with Anthony Richardson who had 13 imagine if we straight had, imagine incompletions. No, imagine, hey, one up. I'm here. Imagine if on fourth and one we can do that little soon to be illegal play. Whoa, how did you get to fourth and one? Hey, that's how it happens. How many times are you on fourth and one? That's part of the NFL football. Yeah, and they punt the but shit out of it. I know. We're not going to That's all I'm saying. Hey, once you're, oh, no, hey, oh, no. Oh, once y'all, we cross the 50. Y'all, y'all the new, hey, oh, no, once you cross the 50. Oh, oh, now that's a whole new, there's some field position going on now. Nah. We talking about when you get it on the 25 and you go nine yards and it's fourth and one on the 44. Fourth and one. The whole stadium know what's up. Hey. It, oh, you're on the 44. The, the 34 the whole, yard line hey. and you need a yard. The whole stadium know what's up. Fourth and one. That's when people usually Fourth punt, right? Fourth and one? No. Philly Fourth and three. Fourth, Fourth and four. Fourth and five. They punt. Fourth and one. They're going to go for it if they're in a certain position of the field. And There's only this one play, NFL quarterback this that's play, 100% on, on, on quarterback hey, sneaks. This play. You know who that is, right? No, listen. Let Tom me Brady. Let me, Never been hey. stopped on a quarterback sneak going for a first down. You sure, so let, you sure let me yes. talk? You sure let me talk? I mean, hey, on this play, they were trying to ban this play because it's damn near illegal because that one yard is nothing for a dude that's from Gainesville, Florida, Single parent, knowing I got to get over there because my mama want to see me get a first down. Well, LeBron Thomas was from Gainesville, Butte Holtz, and he was from a single parent. Uh, Good, great college player. Uh, yeah, oh, great, great. Great college player. Great, one of the greatest great. University well, of Miami uh, Kings ever. Talk, but they we told me everything about, I know. But we're talking about, we're talking about. Darius McCullum was from uh, Gainesville, Butte Holtz, too. We talking about Gainesville Buholes put out a bunch of players every year, and I've yet to see. You, you well, seen I don't know it? the different schools. I don't you know see, the you different seen schools. You Gainesville Buholes with them three numbers. I don't know much about Gainesville football. I know Clint Portis, yeah. and now I know. That's what I was saying. And Lamar Thomas and, and a couple other Richardson. dudes. That's what but, I'm telling you. Gainesville Buholes ain't the place where you go find you a franchise quarterback. That's all I'm saying. It doesn't matter. Especially one that Everything hits the roof somewhere. Everything of his practice somewhere. facility that he's been at for three years. He was just showing you he and can hit the get... roof. He was just showing you he can hit the roof. How many times Peyton Man showed you he can hit the roof? Hey, he was just showing you he can hit the roof. <laughs> how many, how many times Kurt Warner showed you he can hit the roof? 
They didn't have to. This man had to show you how to hit the roof. You know how far the roof is? Can you, th- can you hit the roof? Yes. Can you hit the roof? At Florida? Yes. Can you hit the yes. roof? <laughs> With my, I can punt the roof. No, I say hit I the roof. I can throw it and punt it to I the roof see, at the I, University of Florida. I need to see that. Oh, no but, problem. All right. No problem. I stump all over a gator, buddy. You know this. We canes. Gator's running you, high from a cat five. Nah, and there's two cat fives sitting at this table. Nah, I'm with, I'm so just, you just understand that. what you're talking about. Big jackets. Big jackets. Big, 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 big gold, jackets. Big gold jackets, too, boy. I'm talking all right, about, speaking, of, speaking of the big jackets, you know, a lot of times people don't understand what it takes oh. to get that gold jacket. You know, you have your journey. I have my journey. But it's either all way unique. Go, it's hey, all unique. Our in journeys run parallel. Oh no, no, it's hey. all unique in itself. It doesn't but, matter but, when you no, get no, there. No, 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 it don't matter when you get there. Hey, as long as you come to him, as long as you come to him, you know that. But there's also a VIP department too. So, but you know, let's not let's not forget the first balance. Yeah, we don't worry about it. We don't worry about it. I have to too. Once you're in, you're in. You're in. You're in. I never say a word. And I pay homage. I pay homage to the first balance. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Because you have to. It's a beautiful thing. But the thing that I try to convey over to the youth of America is engulf yourself. Lose yourself in, 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 in working out and preparing. And the one thing I ask every youth in America is two things in the world you must do every day. You must get smarter and you must get better. I agree. Because nobody wakes up and stays the same. You either get better or you get worse. You always got somebody coming hey, for you. You either get better or you get worse. And that's a decision on you, and it's a conscious decision because picking up a book, reading, you know, exploring something different makes you a better person. It makes you more knowledgeable about something that you didn't know yesterday. So that's what I always tell the youth of, the, of, of tomorrow. There's, there's the vows, A E I O N U. Give me a word with all of them in it. Hey, if I was a young kid, coming in and I come up to you, hey, Mr. Warren Sapp, I got all the intangibles. What's I want to be a Hall of Famer. What's the intangibles? I got everything that it takes to be. I got the How size, you, who the told speed, you this? I have the who discipline. Told you this? I have all those things. What is it going to take? Do you have for? the ability to sacrifice? Because that's what it's going to require. It's going to require you to sacrifice time with your girlfriend, time on the video game, time on the social media, time on your timeline. Do not let your timeline become your lifeline. Let it go. You're going to need 15000 hours. Hey, how many times you sat on that football field when nobody was there? All the time. All the time. More when, times than when, when people was there. when nobody's watching is when you define as a football player, when you define as a man, when you define as a professional, when you define yourself as someone who's committed to the cause. Because if you will find your passion, I'll show you your purpose. So if you once out, get a room full of kids and you get a chance to examine them. I just said And it. watching them. I just said it to you. Could you point out that he's going to be a Hall of Famer? Nope. Why? Because that's not something you can point out because you're, it, Michael Irvin always says this. The measure of a man is distance travel. Not... Where you been, how, who you know, distance travel. So what does it take to become a Hall of In Warren Sapp's eyes, what does it take to become a Hall of Famer? This is the best of the best. I got you. This is all the history, all the facts, all the stats, everything that separates you from what? the past. And now your advantage is <laughs> you have a measuring stick. No, no, no. Here's the thing that's scary. I'm only the fifth first ballot defensive tackle ever in the history of the game. The other four are Bob Lilly, Mr. Cowboy, in the Ice Bowl game, digging his heels in. Merlin Olson, Father Murphy, the house on, little house on the prairie. We know him more from TV shows than we do from playing. Mean Joe Green, who, Mr. Green, you want my coat, one of the greatest commercials ever. And Randy White, the Flex 4 in Dallas. These four men are like icons of the game. So for me to look at a kid, I'd want to hear from him, not from me. Because I came off a dirt road with no cable television, no air conditioning, and the pizza man didn't deliver. 
We had to walk down a mile and a half to the damn convenience store, grab a piece, and then walk back home. Thank but time, God. Time, thank time, thank but God in, my mama in, had a in, microwave. In the kids' defense, right? No, no, no. Times have changed. So no, what, no, is no. It, what is it going to take this is what with I'm all telling the information you, no, 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 you have? I'm listening to what you're saying now. Let me, let me get it out for you. I would want to know what this kid is doing every day to fulfill this dream. Because it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing to dream. I tell kids dream so big that when you tell somebody, they bust out laughing at your ass. Because when I told my sister I was going to play on Monday Night Football, <laughs> oh, my God. She <laughs> laughed my ass out that room. Your fat ass ain't doing nothing. Ran in the room. I, and I was just sitting there, just an empty feeling at 10, 11 years old. An empty feeling. I'm like, well, okay. Now I got to go about this. And you talking about, there was no internet. See, but that's I, what. But that's no, what no, no. Take I into think, consideration. I think, I think we. The game has changed. No, no. I think we allow too much information. But because when we're you rating, cannot no, no, be, no. E, e, you, we're rating eight-year-olds, thirteen-year-olds, the but best. Remember, in the it's country. business. Remember, I, it's business. I, I got Take that business part. out of the equation. I'm not talking business. I'm just talking about the actual publication that says this is the best thirteen-year-old in America. How the fuck? And what does America go for? What? Hype. Potential. That's what I'm saying. So within, uh, with, with all that being said, with all that being I said, wanna know how one more time. do a kid... I want to know what are you doing to fulfill this dream. And it ain't got shit to do with social media. It ain't got shit to do with no likes, views, followers, or comments. It has to do with the camera's off, nobody's there. What is your commitment to your... What is your sacrifice? But the people who are making the decision... They're making a decision based on these things. What so things? The popularity. See what I'm talking about? I'm not saying you I'm never had a social you media, right or neither did I. No, okay. no, I'm saying but this, you, we, we didn't got have the, those things. We got the we wrong people judging what, what, we what's did, important. We, I don't care who's judging, right? But whoever's judging <laughs> is making the decision. <laughs> Just because Warren Sapp deems. No, this I'm not deeming shit. shit. What that's I'm telling what, you, what I'm, what I'm no, telling I'm you is so don't kid, allow your timeline to become your lifeline. What I'm They're saying two is, two separate things. You it's still, called social you still, media for a reason. You, you're still confusing these kids because these kids can go and work and do all this thing, but they're not popular. And then all of a sudden, they look yeah. up. Let me finish. They look up and they see this guy's rated this. This guy's rated that. And Right now, it's a popularity contest. So where does a kid sit and he can say, man, look, I'm doing everything to become a Hall of Famer no. because I'm doing everything right. How the hell we skip, uh, you know, a college All-American? No, I'm just, even if he's in college, even if he's an All-American, if he's doing all the things. But I'm saying, like, if these are the things that you e, judged when, about. Hold on, hold on. When did you first think about the Hall of but Fame? This, but this is, what I'm saying, this is what I'm talking about. No, no. When did you first think about the Hall of Fame? Day one. What? Day one, I say, this is one of the type of players oh, I want to be. I say, I want to be one of these type of players. All right. But at the same time, now that things are changing, how are these kids going to know, okay, this is what it takes to Shit, become a Shit, I was just dreaming family. about playing on Monday Night Football. I wasn't even thinking about no damn gold jacket. I'm thinking about being the best of the best. No, no, no. From I, day I, one. I, no, no, no. And there's I, no way you're not thinking I, I wasn't, not even a little bit when I was in high school or when no, I was at the University you, of Miami. Not, I, didn't even, I didn't even know the position play, I was going to play. Hold on, E. Anytime you're playing, hold on, hold on, anytime hold on, you're playing this sport, you said, hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to be the best. My goal was to retire my mother. Okay, but to once make you realize, enough money to retire my mother. But no, you no. realize Stop. that was, Let that me was too easy. It. Let me explain it to you. That was too easy. You did that. God damn. I, my life was easy, <laughs> and he's explaining it to me. I so you knew don't let your friend you tell got, you how yeah. your life is either. When so, you got that, Stop. you knew. You was like, I, I already know. Hey, this shit right here, I got this in listen. the bag. You might, you might hear something that, that <laughs> might click a bell in your head. I didn't think about the Hall of Fame. Until John McClain, who was a Hall of Fame voter in Houston, came to Tampa in 2001. I had seven, eight, nine, ten, five straight Pro Bowls at the time. I had a defensive player of the year, but I didn't have the world championship to put on top of it. So I was just thinking about a ring. How but, what I'm, but what I'm saying is. Stop. Can I finish? You should. Can I finish? We're going to have a conversation. Can I finish? No, no. This ain't a monologue. It's, a it's never been a monologue. 
We're this coming has never been a monologue, Sap, but when I'm in the middle of my Sap, story and you stop me. coming down Saps Park where it's a one-way street, you may proceed. Never not a monologue. We're having a dialogue here, and I'm trying to dialogue get Dialogue goes back and forth. Not in the middle <laughs> of me telling you my story of how I first, the, the thought even entered my mind, he, and you saying you did this from day one. You see what I'm saying? The, the, the difference? But it doesn't matter. We can have different no, no, no. paths we travel. But how did you get to that? For me, it's more of if you're going to say, I'm going to the NFL, right? You say, I'm going to go to the NFL. No, right? no. I want to play on Monday Night Football. I want, I want to play on Monday Night Football. I want to be one of the best that ever played. Okay, I don't know how it's going to shape out. I didn't, I didn't but get I'm, to that part. I just want to play on Monday Night no, Football. For me, it's more of like, so numerically, every from my first season, from my rookie season. 99. 1999. I had a chart. And my chart would show what did this guy do, this guy do, this guy do, this guy do. Never so I'm saying mind. everybody's path is different. But no, no, same that's time, why I wanted to know. And that's why I was, you because, asked me, I because, said, for me, for see, me personally, it was more, let me see what the greats have done. I don't have that. No, that's And that's why I said for you me see, and see, for you, it's for, maybe two for different defense, paths. For a defensive tackle, your stats won't dictate if you had a good game. You can be zero for zero and your have a impact. great game. Your impact. You can have zero tackles, zero fucking sacks, zero assists, and have a great game. Your impact. I done been there in the 1999. Your rookie year, 1999, I played in the NFC Championship game. We lost 11 to 6. I had zero tackles, zero six, zero everything. But I'll sit and watch that game with you any day of the week. Because I know I was on my job that day. Impact. Not, I didn't. There's nothing to mark down as an impact, but. In the confines of my defense, within, I was rock solid. Within the yeah, football community, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, the yeah, impact. Yeah, yeah. That, but that you is can a, see who this that's a behind thing, the scenes helped. thing. Yeah. That's not a social media. That's not the media. That's not no. that, that 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 hype. Who who whatever. That's when that personal like, hey, I know I did my job. It's like me. If I if I'm sitting back and a quarterback throws a touchdown pass, and I know I aborted my fake to go and pick up this blitz. Oh, I got it. No, I did me. my job. It's a car. In a big engine, and you must. And do nobody your job. would notice it. Nobody would see it. You would never get credit for it. That's the beauty of it. Impact. That's the beauty. And that's and that's, that's all. That's all I was saying with that. Of, no, no, Impact. that's the beauty of it. But that's what you have to be when you're in high school, in college. Just do your job. This ain't about glory, likes, views, follows. Come on. But in these kids' defense. <laughs> Don't these are let the things your timeline become your lifeline. These are the things those that's comments them to glory. by those dumbasses in the comment section is just to rile you up. So it's you're just gonna, to get a gonna, reaction. If you're gonna say that, why can't a person from <laughs> New York City playing in the big lights become more popular and get more attention? Because we understand this is a business. Then a kid is actually doing what he's supposed to do, but he's in a small market. Wait. So anytime so you, you know, have to step so you, there, know, you, you know have to understand. Out of the 32 teams in the National Football League, you know what number Tampa was? When number 28th. When number who? 28th. When number what? 28th out of 32. When that number, network you talking about, that 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 New York, that, no, that media just, market? No, 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 I'm giving you, I'm giving you, I'm giving you, I'm giving you an example. I was in the 28th biggest market in the NFL. And you did something special. That but at the same time, you. I understand do not, that do not, but you do talk, not let every someone kid, tell you you're in a small market, you can't be a big Every kid man. is not going to go for that. Every kid is not going to be a Warren Sapp. Every kid is not going to be that special. But when you sit back and you look at it, it's majority rules where there's majority popularity. Rules. There, what? where there's popularity, where there's a business opportunity, you have to make sure that you're sitting in that pocket. Boy, so this is just about money. NFL not about money. I'm just asking. I just need to know. I thought this was about a Hall of Fame career, but now but it's I, about I, money. I, but I just said, which one is NFL? Which one? Because we talked about this earlier. I said, can you can you match the asking, hunger? Can you I, match the hunger? I under, for me and you, we from old school. That, can so we, we match have a the different hunger? Mentality. Can we match the but hunger that we pay? All I'm saying is, with these kids this day, they could care less about us. E. They don't even know who we are. That's what I'm talking. We about. We don't even know. They don't even know but, who we are. 
That's what I'm trying to get. You. I've been replaced See, by Aaron. Think, I've been replaced by Aaron Don. But this is what I'm saying. <laughs> With this era and the way things are going, we can't sit up there and say like you can sit back and say, "Oh, an old rapper, an old football player, old this and old that." But the reality of it is, what's gonna move the needle? The drama and bullshit. But that's what I'm saying. I think it's harder for an older player or older successor to accept the fact that, look, the game done changed. The rap game has changed. The sports games have changed. And no. it's not about It's still about performing. It's still it's about performing. It's not about the fact that you are, still about performing. oh, I'm going out here doing. No, well, no. If, it's, if it's about performing, it's why hype. not? It's hype. Why, exactly. In college, but not in the league. In the league, is the same thing. You, the, who's going to get the biggest draw? The okay. NFL is the all right, business. All right, we just watch. Odell Beckham get passed around like 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 a bubblegum rapper. Who's still on commercials? I ain't seen one. I seen them. Oh, I seen one? one tonight. You don't watch I TV? Seen which one? I seen what some commercial? pop up tonight. What commercial? But this is what I'm saying. What if you commercial? Say who's, the most, who's the most popular no, player? No, what commercial? Name the most popular receiver. I, who's the most popular receiver? You tell me. I'm asking you. You just said Odell Beckham is not. He's you, not even close. Who's I just asked you a question. Neither is DeAndre I Hopkins. I just asked you a question. I don't know because so you don't the, no, know. No, no, hold on, e, everybody, hold on, hold on, if you e, hold put on, e, hold on, e. who we, led the league in rushing, e. who led I mean who led the league in receiving yards, and you put Odell Beckham next to them, who's gonna get more? How many attention? catches did Odell Beckham have? I have no idea. Oh, this is about attention. Oh, but I forgot. I forgot. This 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 is about a time. That's what I'm I trying to. That's what I'm saying. Timeline. So it's it's a business. Okay, that's if not business. It's not business. That's not business. When you're talking about who's the most popular. Business. Who's the most popular player? Popular. Odell Beckham is, be, is more no popular balls. than any receiver out there right now. No, his name is. Not his not his his, 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 his numbers or his, his production on the field. Because you're judging about? that. I'm saying the corporate That's world the is, only way I can judge a football player is by what he does on a football field. When you haven't been on it since so the who's Super Bowl, more popular what are we than talking him? about? Who's more popular I don't give a him? fuck about no popular E. <laughs> you can have your timeline. But I on said, Sunday afternoon, who is performing? Didn't I say... And Odell Beckham ain't in that conversation. About, didn't I say this is a business? I don't so, know what business you're talking about. I don't know what business you're talking about. Because if you're talking about social media and who's popular and who's going to follow and go behind and click and buy. To understand where we're at, and this is why there's so much confusion with these kids. Confusion. Who's more popular? So who's confused? Who's more popular? The kids or the system? I just asked you a question. Who? who, who who's who, more popular? Then who and who? Then Odell Beckham. Who can you put up and say, hey, this guy is this and that? That's why I was getting Well, it. I can name about five of them that make more money than him. It, I said who's more popular. I can, I can I name five more, of them that said, have more catches, yards, said, and touchdowns than him, too. I mean, you can but name, I understand that street shit you, you talk about. Name, that street shit don't pay no bills. Listen, you can name that street everything shit don't pay you no bills. want to name. I asked you a question. I understand. Just name what I asked. I have no clue because I'm not and on the timeline with popular. That's what, all. What, I, who got more followers? Is that what you're asking me? That's why I just sit up because and Because if said, you're asking the 32 GMs, I bet Odell and Beckham name don't come up. I just said who's more popular. Like That's I said, I who's asked. answering the question? I just said who's more And what more popular. metric are you using to say who's popular? What I'm saying is it's a business, and these people understand that they're going to follow these people, so we're going to make sure. That's why he got one offer. It doesn't matter. No, I'm just asking. The I, most popular receiver, according to you, because you're got going one to, offer. You're going to. you. That's the problem. Got one offer. Listen, for all the younger people, I understand, y'all. <laughs> I understand where you're coming from because you're confused right now. Because right now, why are you confused? it's not it's about. my question. The sport. Why it's are about you confused? The popularity. Because Why right are now, you confused? I'm asking a pro football Hall of Famer that's very knowledgeable about the sport. About I give a fuck less about who's popular. <laughs> just like he don't know who's the offensive coordinator of Indianapolis nobody. or the University of Miami or the defensive coordinator or the defensive coordinator at, at Indianapolis. Nobody. Coast. Exactly. But, at but the he same won't time, tell you who's popular. <laughs> but I'm trying. What the fuck? But when Come I'm, on. I'm trying to uh, get him to understand this is where the confusion comes in at. The confusion comes in that you're looking at everything from an old school. I used to lift weights. Shit. I used to do this. Nope. These kids. Never said lift weights. That ain't they don't me. care about until they none put of a, Until they put a bench press on the 50-yard line, I'll never start hey, the weight room first. These kids aren't 
they, that's not their concern. But what I'm saying to oh, no. to like, view, this gold jacket number two eight zero perfect ten, all that right there. <laughs> I'm trying to tell him is like, look, it's a different ball game. We can say, hey, you got to do this, you got to do this, y'all should do this. They're no, not gonna do none of that. It's a different They're game. They're not gonna do none so of that. So we have to understand, man. It's a different game. No, I know it's a different game. If it's they're a different play, game, we have to make play, adjustments. Who? No, it's still about production. 